Good afternoon, Kyle here at FCP Euro, and we're working on our project CLK 550. This afternoon, we are going to be changing the transmission fluid. The vehicle's got about 68,000 miles, so it's about 20,000 miles overdue for an oil change. We will be using Pentosin's 1LV fluid this afternoon, and we'd like to thank CRP for sponsoring our video. Let's get started. All right, so the first step is we're going to remove the rearward belly pan so we can gain access to the transmission pan. Next step, now that we have access to the transmission pan, is we're going to drain that fluid. All right, six millimeter hex did the trick there. I'm just going to undo that which should get rid of about a liter of fluid for us, maybe a little bit more. There we go. What we're seeing draining right now is what falls above the overflow that's in the pan. And you'll get a better idea of what I'm referring to as soon as we pull the pan off the car. I'm gonna knock the overflow out. That'll allow the rest of the fluid to drain out. Okay, so we're gonna go and uh, reseal the pan and then remove it from the vehicle. Some of the standoffs are a little different from others, so I'm gonna go ahead and place them down kind of in the same orientation that I removed them from the pan. For the rear of the pan where it's a little tighter, I'm just getting in here with a long socket. This fastener is actually broken, so we won't be removing it. And then the middle two I'll remove slowly so that we don't get transmission fluid everywhere. Transmission fluid is going to want to leak everywhere, unfortunately. While the fluid's dripping out, I'm just going to wiggle the filter off. The remaining fluid that's in the pan, I'm just gonna dump it out. And then we'll go over to the table and set up our new pan gasket and clean the magnets and everything else. All right, so we're gonna toss our old filter. Toss the pan gasket also. It's the overflow standpipe that we knocked off earlier. We're gonna clean our magnets off. We've got, got some metal shavings on the magnets, so we wanna go ahead and remove that. After all, it is the magnet's job to catch the metal particles that are floating in the fluid. So we'll get these nice and clean. Then off camera, I'm just gonna clean up this pan a little bit more and then we'll get it reinstalled on the vehicle. We've got a nice clean pan. We've reinstalled the magnets. We'll go ahead and put the pan gasket on. All right, we've laid the pan gasket down nicely and uh, we're gonna get the pan reinstalled on the transmission. All right filter pops into the valve body just like that. We're going to get our overflow pipe in and then we can raise our pan into position. All right, now I'm going to go around the pan once and then we'll torque it down. So the pan is filled from below. I'm using a CTA pan adapter for the 722.9 transmission. This part number is 7415, and I'm using their 7400 uh, filling system. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, sorry, screw that into the pan. Slide that in. I'm gonna tighten it down. I have it pressurized to about 10, 15 pounds right now. And I'm gonna put about uh, four liters into the transmission. You can see once I open it, it just fills up the transmission for us. So I've put approximately four liters of fluid in the transmission. In order to properly set the transmission fluid level, I need to do it with the engine running at operating temperature, which is gonna be about 45 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna start the car while the fill tool is still attached. And then once the transmission fluid gets up to temperature, we're gonna go ahead and set the level and then close up the pan.
All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm using our iCarsoft i980 scan tool to verify the transmission fluid temperature. Uh, what I'm also going to do is add about one liter of transmission fluid to the transmission and then let the fluid drain out of the overflow. Once it drains out of the overflow, I know the fluid level is set correctly and I can go ahead and close up the pan. Right now I'm at about 30 degrees Celsius. It's probably going to take another three or four minutes before I'm at operating temperature. All right, so I added another half a liter of fluid to the transmission. I'm just going to remove the fill tool to see if I'm getting any fluid draining back. Not really getting anything draining back, so I'm gonna let the transmission fluid temperature go up another couple of degrees, and I'm gonna add a half a liter more. All right, so that additional liter of fluid that we put in, it really didn't want it, Let's spit it back out. So now we know the level is set, we're gonna go ahead and close up the transmission. All right, so we've just wrapped up with filling the transmission on our project CLK 550. Again, we'd like to thank CRP for sponsoring the video today. And if you, if you like what you've seen today, hit the like button below and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.